Hello everyone, my name is Trevor Slescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. So, last night we had a pretty good intense first race of our NASCAR circuit. I've got some footage for that coming up real soon. But, uh, yeah, it was intense. I've never raced so fast on an oval ever. Well, because I never had the high bank curves until now. Anyway, um... We had a good race. Everybody showed up. Kevin was late, so he didn't get into the the initial footage. Um, <clears throat> however, it was basically Chevy's Plymouth's MI1 Ford. And yeah, it was quite intense. So let's take a look at some of the footage and hope you enjoy it. Tonight's exciting race is the Daytona 500 qualifier number one from 1957. But we're racing 1960 Plymouth on it. So there you go. Welcome to our 1957-1960 NASCAR League. Here are the cars at the start-finish gate. Uh, and we have Josh's 1960 Plymouth, my 1957 Ford, Allen's 57 Chevy, the Duke of Boer with his 45 Chev, that's Fred. Devin's got two cars on the track, a Chevy and a Plymouth. Matt's Plymouth and Mark's Plymouth. So we're going to start the race with a completely different camera angle, so get ready. This all will be hilarious. <laughs> so Matt has decided to take the suicide seat right on the curve. Hopefully he doesn't lose all his teeth. This is this is how this is my strategy to make you guys lose all of your cards. You all want my face. <laughs> okay, here so, we go. But it doesn't gain you an advantage. Yeah, it does. Oh dear. <laughs> oh! Knocked out by Matt. That didn't take all that long. There's two of my precious cards down. <laughs> Arse! Arse! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Arse! <laughs> <laughs> Oh! I have one car left. I'm happy to say that my car is working perfectly fine. Uh oh, that's good. I Oh, what a lane. No! Oh! 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 So if Mark died, I'd have to run that way. I'm glad I was not sitting there! <laughs> Told you. <laughs> I'm not glad of my position right now. Mm. That's an amazing Whoa. slide job. <laughs> it's right. sprint cars! Get away from me. <laughs> It's a dirt oval. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> Can we do dirt oh, oh. Are you trying to take me out, Devin, on my final card? Why wouldn't you? Uh, sure. Come on, rock it. Oh. oh. <laughs> Just leave him there. Oil pressure has gone through the roof. I'm gone. There we go. I lost power once I crossed the street and my car killed itself. One second, I'm gonna go grab my feet there. I am uh, back. I'm gonna reward myself with a little bit. Okay, so reward yourself. Oh! Reward <laughs> yourself. <laughs> uh, I was too fast, Mark. I tried to catch it. <laughs> wow. I foresaw well, this the race being a bad first race, especially with this car. Here. Trying to catch it 
something dragging right there. Yeah, yeah. Really, really of course like you're that. leading, Devin. Get over it. <laughs> Devin, crash. Crash, Devin. <laughs> No. His death, his definitely has a Chevy dominance. This race. Over the the are doing shit. Is he up on me on the leaderboard? I got up on Mark anyway. Yeah. George is doing what mine was doing, Mark. Yeah. Dude. Bad rush. Are your wheels popped up? No. And the new Hydromatic Ford with Hydromatic Suspension of 340 horsepower. Using the supercharged Thunderbird engine, only 18 oh, 15 built for NASCAR. Mark's doing the Herculean effort. Did <laughs> anyone just notice that I poured drink down my shirt? <laughs> <laughs> 73 laps. You know what's going to be hilarious? It's on video. <laughs> that too. I was going to say, Devin's going to launch his car over the head and knock the can right over his head. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Devin, I want to see you at least just lose all of your cards. <laughs> so that, I'm going to hold my can right here, under the track. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Now I'm going to play Bomber Fail now, that's how I'll have to go laps. on my channel. 84 that's laps with Devin in first, me in second, Mark fourth, and, <laughs> and over in the infield, out <laughs> here we have Matt's car. Oh, Poor Richard oh, Petty, oh. he wouldn't have actually fallen off, but Matt's driving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's race one. So the spectators are watching as we begin the second race. Matt, just don't let a Dukabor get behind you, okay? So we have the Dukabor, Alan, and Josh's car right out of the showroom, not even numbered. So now we just start the race. I'm very happy because you'd actually speed my car up because it doesn't have enough speed. Considering it has next to no magnets and next to no power. And there they go into the curve. Matt's car is still sitting in the center lane. It's on fire. And there they go into the curves. Oh, we got a wreck. A wreck with Josh's car. There's a man, a man on the track. He's skidding around. He's going up the embankment. Don't hit the fence. He hit the fence. Wipe out into the curve. Oh. I got ya. <laughs> oh, and the Duke of is drifting. Are you gonna rescue your Plymouth? Not there we go. Red. <laughs> oh! oh. I Josh went go, airborne. Well, if I can't make my car go fast, I'll make it aesthetically easy. <laughs> the three drivers are catching up on each other. Hold it in the corner so no one gets sick. <laughs> So now we'll interview our racers. Ah, look at that intensity. <laughs> Whoa! I don't know if I got that on film, but that really rolled in the air. The Duke of War is off. He's down. He went over the railing. Well, I kind of, can we do still? No. I stopped doing it because I was going to get it the most. Was that a card? Something wrong. No, because it pulled it off. It was essentially a pit stop. 
Fred's down a couple of cards. Oh, into Whoa. the center lane. Whoa. Infield. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> that could explain why my car was not working. That's a massive flat spot on my tire. <laughs> no! Matt's driving with with cold bias belted tires. Cold bias ply tires. <laughs> the flat spot. Any of you guys that drove cars back in the day, oh, you know what I'm talking about. Intense here as we come up to the 73rd lap. Only a few seconds remaining on the clock. And the crowd is going wild if they were not inanimate objects. All right. All right, aerial photography. There we go. Oh, bumper to bumper, lock up. Oh, into the infield. <laughs> so close to the end. <laughs> I almost made a perfect pass. Which oh, the you? A crash, a wreck, a wreck with the Duke aboard. <laughs> that was very NASCAR. It was. Really? Duke aboard lost awesome. the number. I'm oh. not his friend because he's the only one with that to work numbers. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my car's going really steep. Oh, Josh's Plymouth has run out of steam. That seems to be a common theme with the Plymouths tonight. <laughs> Mark does a quick te tweaking in the pits. It's going to oh, steam right now. Let's see the mess of and my that's it. We'll do with the motor. 105 motor. laps. Wow, that was a good race. Ellen in front, followed by Fred, and then... Josh. Darn it, another second for Fred. So it was quite intense last night. Had a lot of crashes. Here's a bunch of uh, Chevy and Chrysler bumpers that got busted off during the night. A lot of cars came down this curve and became airborne and landed on the floor somewhere. <laughs> We've got Ducabor decals lying around all over the place from Fred's car because he didn't get to clear coat his decals on so they're just falling off left right and center <coughs> we had a crack in the track here right there so we put a screw in into the table which I didn't really want to do because I don't like screws going into the table but well we had to lock it down there's a Duke of War 45 sitting there and the Duke of Boar, Duke of Boar lettering. <laughs> we had a problem with one of these lane changers kept kind of coming off. Now I don't know if this is because it's got a bit of a twist in here because of the embankment. But it was quite a surprise to some people when they were all of a sudden shifting into other cars. <laughs> unintentionally. And uh, I'll show you. My Ford was an intense last race. But uh, she hit the ground and it sheared off the pegs that I had glued there. So these don't touch. So I'm going to have to come up with something a little better. Give it more of a footprint like in the back. But the car hit the ground and <laughs> the only thing holding it together was this one screw. And my driver even broke out and flew out. Which is pretty bad. But... Uh, I was able to get on the table in that last little bit. I actually came in second. And the whole front end was going loop, 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 loop because it wasn't attached anywhere. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty intense. So I'm going to have to um, add something inside these posts because the screws, the thread doesn't even, you know, it doesn't even touch properly in here. Like I can basically just grab the screw with my fingers and pull it straight out because the threads aren't even going in there. It's just that millimeter wider than the neck of the screw. So 
I got something I can stuff in the hole there and hopefully thread it into there. Some of the old Games Workshop green stuff. But yeah, that was pretty intense for my old Ford. Oh yeah, and it got scraped up on the roof because the car whips around and then it ends up like this. But yeah, it was quite good. So, oh, looks like some of my bare metal foil came off on the edges there. Anyway. So I hope everybody can join us in this upcoming slot car league. Now let's take a look at the, the board and see where everybody placed. So here we are at the board on our first race. So we did the Daytona 500 qualifier. I got 36 points, which puts me in 6th place. Matt was 31, puts him in 8th. Devin at 45, puts, puts him in 4th. Mark at 32, puts him at 7th. Kevin at 57, puts him at 2nd. And Fred, Fred got 47, which puts him at 3rd. This is the highest Fred has ever got in our leagues, so good for you, Fred. But next time, quit riding my bumper. <laughs> anyway, Alan got 63, which puts him at 1st. And Josh got 38, which puts him at 5th. And now just to rub salt in the injury, there's Devin. He usually ends up getting first all the time. Well, he's in fourth place. So anyway, that's how it goes. <sighs> Poor Devin. <laughs> okay, so that was our race and I hope you enjoyed it. And now you get to watch me saying something I said seven months ago about if you would like to know more about Monster Hobbies in High River. Anyway, we'll take you to that footage, because it is exciting! Find out more about Monster Hobbies by tuning into our Facebook page, Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. We've got uh, our gaming events, our, our Warhammer nights, our slot car races, and we always update that site more than our old uh, MonsterHobbies.com um, internet page. So. Check us out there and uh, like us and friend us and share us and everything that's all fun about Facebook. And we'll see you soon at Monster Hobbies.